Hey, you. Talk to me. Okay, yes. Yes. Yes, who loves me most? Oh my god, still Rosalind. I want the princess to like me. She sure likes me storyline-wise. Princess may have locked it. So she's still locked in her room? What am I supposed to do? This is chapter five just yet. What chapter are we on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh... No, 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 no. I forgot to give him a heat wave ring. Awesome. Um... Well, the guy says if the music becomes too much, go to a building. So I have to talk to every one of her group groupies. Okay. Thank you for telling me after like 50 side quest things. I don't care. Stupid side quest. I'll, I'll do another run probably with all the side quests. Or I'll just, yeah, I'll just start recording and show you where I can do all the side quests. I just want to do the storyline right now. That's how I do RPGs. I always do two runs. There's no way. I'm thus enthused about Linda as the inevitable result of an exquisitely intertwined sense of my aesthetic ideal, desires, and an illusion to be one with another. Thus, I do not have a case of feverish love. What am I saying? What I what I am saying? Trying to say, I believe, is this: Oh, Linda, you're so hot. Oh, that is precisely it. There is no inaccuracy in my carefully drawn conclusion. Come, let me sleep. Oh, Linda, you're so hot. <laughs> okay, this is getting weird. Oh, Miss Linda, you're an angel. You're a goddess. No, no, much more than that. Miss Linda, you're the world You're the world and the universe. I am only thankful that I'm a humble member of that universe. So I have to talk to all these guys and things. I'm sorry, Linda, but let me call you. Sweet angel Linda. I hope you don't mind that I formed your club without your permission. But Linda, you should understand my heart. You're, you're my sweet baby. Won't you give this rock and roller your sweet kiss? Okay, and it says to go in here. <laughs> Miss Linda, so hot. Miss Linda, so hot. Miss Linda, so hot. So, so hot. Miss Linda, so, so hot. So hot, the best, strongest angel on earth. All together now. Oh, Linda. Okay, am I done? I just talked to all three of them. All together now. Oh, Linda. L-O-V-E. Lovely Linda. 
Mmm, the best, the strongest evil- Evil Kang? What? Did he say something? Hey, slave, this, did this guy say, so, say something? I think he may have. Oh, I can never count on you. You call myself yourself my slave? You porky hoof woman. You heard it, didn't you? P porky? Anyway, yes, I did hear him. He said the best, strongest evil king. Let's hear him again. You, random Linda fan, tell me again what you said. L-O-V-E, lovely Linda. Mmm, the absolute, absolute best super teen idol. The best, the strongest, angelic evil king. Well, he said it, clearly. He said it, no mistake. But that adorable girl? But it can't be. It can't be, but... Hey, Professor Crockpot and Batwoman. Just what do you think you're thinking? That Fawn couldn't possibly be an evil king. No evil king would cry about the stupid things she cries about. She doesn't even have... She doesn't even qualify as a fake evil king. Evil kings are proud, beautiful, and strong. True, now that you mention it, it's hard to believe that she's an evil king. You're right. Well, I mean, she does have giant gaping horns coming out of her head. I can't believe it, or rather, I don't want to believe it. Well, of course, there can't be any evil king like her. Linda, she's ev she's not even evil king, and she's got horns. I'm jealous. Huh? Did you say something? I said I want horns, too. If I had horns, humans would be a little more afraid of me. <sighs> If you put horns on, then you'd be a cow. A cow! <laughs> An evil king that looks like a cow. How uncool is that? Oh, shut up, you broken lid of a porky casserole. Porky again? Hmm, that Linda girl. What is she going to do, providing dreams to humans? Why isn't she providing despair and pushing humans off into the black abyss? Looks like she needs more coaching. <laughs> You, slave, go to Linda. I will train her so hot, I mean, so hard. Hmm, he seems to be getting trance too. Yeah, um, I actually might want to do like a speedrun of this game. That would be awesome, because there isn't one on my favorite speedrun site. Hey, it's Linda! Hi, Linda! Don't tell me what to do with boss fight now. I haven't saved in a while. Oh, Ari, did you take a look outside? The townsfolk have finally become my fans! Everyone is now obsessed with me. I did it, coach! Excuse me, Linda, but I think the townsfolk are acting kind of strange. I know, that's okay. Everyone's all brainwashed and happy. Are you by any chance... Yes, I'm an Evil King. I'm thinking of calling myself Teen Idol Evil King. Why are you looking that way at me, Coach? Didn't I tell you? Stop kidding around. A clutch like you, an Evil King? I'm not kidding you. I was really in trouble, without much magical power. But thanks to Ari, I am now a fine Evil King. Aren't you proud of me, Coach? Let's go on a World Conquest tour together. Uh... Great, okay. Only kidding. Sorry. No can do. Why? Because I am the true evil king, who's here to defeat you. But it can't be. Coach, my coach was an evil king? I I can't battle with you, coach. Oh, but Linda, about brainwashing the townsfolk. Oh, no, she's thrown off. If she's an evil king, it's not hard to figure out where she's headed. To the, if the chairman guy went to the escapeless abyss, and that muscle freak went to the big tree hole in Tanel Forest, then as long as she was she was a swayed O Evil King, her destination should be on cl crystal clear on the map of Evil Kings. So slave, off we go to defeat her. Hey slave, what's the matter? Well, of course you're in shock. The girl who you thought was cute was actually an evil king. Why didn't the horns tip me off? If you defeat her, it'll be for her own good, too. Isn't that right, Bull? Sure, sis. But anyway, isn't Linda so, so hot? Well, being an evil king can be said to be a condition in which one is unconsciously possessed. And... Oh my god, what is that word? It is scary. Meta 